it has been foretold in Isaiah 41 that when from the north would come a messenger unto Israel and that he would only be ignored but the rest is by them but the rest of the world would realize that what is happening here at this channel has been preached since the beginning and they will admit that I am right that our God has always been the true God a God of equality of love before him for all people and it has been veiled it is the concluded mystery of Revelation 10 7 that is over because the seventh trumpet has sounded first the angel of uh, the word of God has sounded off because the first is last and the last is first it was always coded awaiting the decoding that would come from the latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12 13 by one who has received the gift of prophecy and the understanding thereof when all people have never understood prophecy correctly at all so these are the days when our carpenter of the ages after the sounding of the seven trumpet all nations are now his the harvest of love begins now because love is not even love until it is given away and Christ's love through us will be saving this earth because only his word alone could cut time short as Christ proclaimed in Matthew 24 22 so in these days of the preparation of his most perfect peace the total uh, um, obsolescence of all faith on earth is proved just as Hebrews 8 says when God releases his kingdom age covenant and he does he says to all people so that Israel can inherit all mankind Isaiah 54 3 proclaimed and protect uh, predicted this would happen and it is true because the covenant was written to all people and it was switched it was the uh, sin of uh, Esau uh, Jacob stole Esau's blessing to a half blind father and Christianity became Israel said we are Israel they never were Israel Israel is Israel and in the latter days Jeremiah 31 1 says that uh, through the message of one from another language unto Israel I am English uh, that they would inherit and uh, in the latter days that God would be the God of uh, Israel and all the families of Israel and from the least to the greatest all would know him and truly truly has all known him because our Lord God is love living within us uh, his name is love those who love are born of God and know God because God is love capital L John the beloved named him first John 4 7 so love from love and uh, whom he is and because there has never been a false God uh, just a false understanding of his love uh, Muhammad said the day was coming when his people would belong to one that sounds like Islam this is Chrislam, Israel's new name after they've received their inheritance and been given their kingdom age covenant by the Lord Moses said one like him would come a writer and a covenant giver am I I am the latter-day Shiloh whose eyes are dull and red of wine uh, one uh, transgressed by wine Habakkuk 2 I am the strong and mighty one line by line precept by precept uh, Elijah bringing forth the restoration of all things Matthew 17 11 that had to happen before Christ can come and Christ is proclaiming his message anew and he has therefore sanctified the former title of Allah to help bring peace between Islam and Christianity and now the name of Allah is now a new name of the risen Good Shepherd over all the flocks of man for there is no shame in a name that it once it is sanctified and justified by the living word of God in order to bring his perfect peace of the message of Malachi 3 1 which causes the shattering of the power of the holy people because God's word 
opens a new Daniel 12, 9 predicted it would. It was only closed until the time of the end. And now comes the shattering of the power of the holy people. Candles must open in order to receive the very thing that they think that they're waiting for. But they have been seen through a glass darkly and only have known in part. Only now may the wise shine as the stars that we were fearfully and wonderfully created to be. We are God's Jesus said in John 10, we are angels in the flesh. The glory of his latter house is greater than that of the former Michael the Craft prophet. And the first is last, the last is first. That is why we uh, shall be as the angels, the word of God says, uh, neither male nor female. So may this revelation uh, from our Lord of love bring forth abundant peace from peace. That is his name, love from love. That is his name and hope from our living hope. He is our living hope. That is his name. For he alone is the blessed, the beloved, and the adored. And he arises in the splendor of his magnificence as his beneficence shines forth the charity flowing from the great white uh, cloud where he stands and puts in his sickle of his word. Uh, and every knee shall fall at his name of love. Every tongue shall confess love whom he is. And for he alone is the sovereign, the pure, and the perfection of all, since he is our beneficent judge of judges. So arise, therefore, O people of his gospel truth, and give your most loving praises unto his holiness in joy. And let the people of that bestower of faith surrender their wills fully unto love, so that they might not have a um, a appearance of uh, godliness, but deny the power of love uh, who moves in them as if they were little children with their love in motion. Leave the land of the walking dead. Re rebuke the ways of letting your love die and become just a noun, not having any uh, truth about love's faith within you. Commit not uh, spiritual suicide. Let your love again be as when you were a little child. Jesus said, in so far as born again, you can't even tell uh, who is and who isn't. It's as the wind. But he did say that we must be as little children. And that is the truest definition of born again. Because those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. So if you're a loving atheist, you're a born again atheist. If you're a loving this or a loving that, a loving Hindu, you're a born again. Because that is God living in us. He is love. And those who love are born of God and know God because God is love, First John 4, 7. For God so loved the world, he is love. For love so loved to love that he gives only begotten love. So whosoever would love and not commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit to let their love die, that they would inherit love everlastingly and always be loved. And know that in these days our bestower of faith uh, people need to surrender our wills unto him alone uh, because as we nervously travel through any dark valleys of fear, he will cast out uh, our fears and uh, the perfect uh, his perfect ways will be before us. For only he is the overseer and exalted of might and the lofty commander unto his obedient souls of love. So it's time to raise up a new standard. So praise ye Allah. Islam. Praise ye Jehovah Nisi, Israel, the banner of love over all of us. Praise ye our carpenter of the ages, Christians, uh, for in his tongue is the rod of God. It is the hammer of God, and he speaks change, that we must beat our sword of the sickle into the, um, the sword into the sickle for the harvest. O oh, people of obedience, lift up that inventor of life, because only that regal Lord of everything, seen and unseen, only he is worthy of worship from both his hosts and his angels in the flesh, if we do not walk and become in the demons. Because we can become demons and loveless if we want to commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Many are going to say, Lord, Lord, and he's going to say, I don't know you, your love light went out, you let it die. We committed suicide. So praise God, it's time to bow down to his magnificence, for he is the majesty of majesties, hero of heroes, icon of icons. He is the Lord God, and I am Elijah. I am Shiloh, whose eyes are dull and red of wine. 
and that was never Christ. He was never a drinker. So comprehend, O oh, devoted Muslims of this world. The Christians had some things right, and Muslims had some other things right. But at the end of the day, we must stop throwing sand in the sandbox. All this nonsense, false god, false prophet, all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Nothing but desolate heritages have we, Isaiah 49, 8. So comprehend, people of the world, from all the nations of the world, of all faiths or none, the Lord only desires charity and love to flow in these days. The prophetess uh, Baba Vanga said that all religion on earth will collapse, but instead what will replace it is a brotherhood of love that will be like white lilies covering the earth. So uh, here are some of his divine names, which are always ablaze with his uttermost honor. For these are the days of the glory of God covering the earth as waters covering the sea, as grass covering the lands, as snow covering the tops of the mountains, as lilies covering the ponds. His glory, honor, and his uh, to be esteemed always and forever are ancient of days. Uh, he is my uh, master and I am his slave. I am the servant of Isaiah 49, who was told so by a prophet when I was 30 years old. I've always known my identity, but I had to stay hidden for much of my life. But now these are the days for the Lord's uttermost honor to, uh, to flame on, because it's a flame with the highest degree of his people's greatest reverence. And may this divine message of our Lord God Almighty now seize all wayward hearts and arrest off all uh, off-centered thoughts as his earnest followers of love become more devoted than ever before. So let them meditate now on his unfathomable brilliance of bottomless love for each and every one of us that even makes the brightest stars of Orient to look pretty darn dull in comparison uh, and in, ac in accordance with his perfect will. May every loving soul now bend their knees unto Christ our Savior, Redeemer, King, his name is love. Let every name bow unto him, and every tongue shall confess him. For he shall bless us. So charity from charity and passion from passion may you receive. For it is he alone that is the wise one of those who are reflecting his wisdom. And he alone is the knower of the unseen and the seer of all things seen, because only the, our Lord God Almighty, the living true author of infinity and creator of all everlasting souls, will always call him especially merciful in these days of Elijah, where his mercy has been proved. So let, therefore, the insights of this last messenger, my name is Daniel, son of Hubert, a uh, husband, proud husband of Linda, uh, let uh, all uh, of us become uh, the spring of all loyal hearts. Let us unite together in a brotherhood of love's grandest light. Uh, and praise God that it's by the will of our living Lord God of all that enlightenment shall now increase through the spirit of Gabriel and the spirit of love transcending through prophecy understood to bring forth the brightest spiritual illumination of his greatest love's passion of the ages so that all people of the book might be relieved from the distress happening around us. The word of uh, patience has come because the trial of all flesh has come forth through COVID to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change. So it's time to raise up a banner of our love uh, for he is the forbearing one people. And uh, with that, I'm going to pause this for one second because my uh, phone is uh, running out of energy. I must plug it in for a few minutes, so I'm going to pause it. I will be right back. Stay tuned for the rest of this message because it's oomph from the Lord if you can handle a little bit of oomph and vitality and passion. Daniel, I hope. back since, since the phone is plugged in in my bathroom I'm sitting on the throne <laughs> but one thing I'm not kidding about is let all those who readeth it run Habakkuk 2 foretold of end time revelator revelator uh, the writer the writer of uh, Isaiah 28 line by line precept and that's 
precept upon precept, line by line, a little here, a little there. That's why I've got 3,000 videos and only a little over a year because I'm reading it. So praise the Lord, and it's time to raise up our banner of love, people. Know ye not, O people of honesty, that our Lord God is our praiseworthy Lord, and he is the most glorious God of unending glory. And don't you know, O searchers of truth, that our Lord God above, he encourages all people of love uh, to desire to achieve great things, and we must try. Uh, and uh, if we stand together, there is victory and unity. But our faith needs to, to be uh, put into action so that good things can happen unto us. And it's time. And many things that have been, have been veiled within the prophets shall now be disclosed as kingdom age revealed truth, revelation of revelation of things that were once hidden so that it, new things uh, truly God can do a new thing as it was foretold. And for this is the spiritual season of spiritual peace when Christ who loves Islam as the true uh, Allah who is God. Uh, he declares, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and cause their understandings to enter oblivion if they leaned unto their own understanding. For uh, the dove's glory now comes forth in a new way. So let the spiritual ones of Ishmael's faith now come to see that as Deuteronomy 18.18 18 so clearly foretold that I, Daniel of Windsor, the messenger of Malachi 3.1, foretold in Isaiah 41 to come at Israel as their messenger that they've inherited all mankind. Isaiah 54.3 uh, proves that. Uh, that uh, I would be from the north and they would ignore me. But praise God that that message of his peace will prepare the Lord's way. And I am therefore the proclaimer of Islam's greatest dreams becoming a reality all across the circle of earth in accordance with the prophecy of Muhammad uh, that his people would belong to another that sounds like Islam. Islam is that name. So no more shall the nation of Israel fear those of the obedient house of Muhammad because of their awakened love, which has been bathed within the most beautiful fountains of God's very best kind of overflowing living waters. So the echo of peace shall soon hit the mid Middle East if people will look to their love burning in their own chests. For the days are drawing near for those of the Jewish lineage from our great prophet of love to shout out aloud the beloved name of Muhammad louder than ever as all people get prepared to play along in the sandbox night nicely because if our God does not uh, uh, condemn us because he says, I will be your God, I will forgive your iniquity, I will never remember it. Jeremiah 31, this is written. If God is not condemning us, why are we condemning one another? We have to stop the insanity. Quit looking under rocks for demons that aren't even there. There is no fear but fear itself. So praise the Lord that uh, all Muslims may now bow down to their our true God, Allah, who is love. Those who love are born of him. And the restored truths of man will suddenly inflame within the hearts of everyone who are seeking him with a great celebration that will follow them like a holy shadow. For that reason, Isaiah wrote that apostasy begins when anyone calls something good evil or something evil good. So it's time to call a spade a spade and uh, call a uh, white white and uh, red red. For apostasy is the abandonment of holy truths as the Lord's people of Scripture quit believing in the literal and unquestionable uh, fulfillment of all end-time prophecy as I have been connecting the dots here at this channel tirelessly. Uh, but people do not want to change and they do not want to beat any swords into any sickles or they don't want to change it. Not a that lame thing. And for that reason, if people will not turn around, I can honestly tell you people, this world will 
have utter destruction of Malachi 4, 6, unless the hearts of the fathers turn to the children and the children to the fathers, this world is fried. And then would come the earth in three, four pieces, never to rise again, Isaiah 24. Then there shall be no more birds or fish or mankind left upon planet earth. Total destruction, uh, Zephaniah 1. And nothing but death will be awaiting one like Moses, a covenant king to make covenant giver and a writer. Uh, and I am the writer of the everlasting gospel. You can hear that, uh, the Christmas passion, just scroll down and you'll see the everlasting gospel of creation as well listen to that it sounds just like moses uh, and I, I i know that you will agree and uh, so in that my other channel i've got the full passion of easter passion there awaiting you if you want meat uh it's time for meat and it's time that all the spiritual babies grow up and get off the milk it's time for meat are you ready to chew because this is total fulfillment of our our master and if you're against this channel you are spitting in the face of Christ's prophecy that he would arise as the good shepherd over all the flocks of man and you're spitting in Christ's face when he prayed ever so uh, com with so much compassion and flaming passion and passionately uh, in the garden of assembly praying for our oneness that he is now sending through this message of his word alive and i do hold the scepter of all of his kingdom age authority so love from love hope from hope and stop ignoring this channel where the planet earth will be destroyed i guarantee you it's true